What is going on everybody? Back with another video. So today I'll be talking about the Zero Tolerance Zero 0400 Scavenger Knife. Now this is easily one of the most alien looking knives I have in my collection, but it's also one of my most top favorites as well. I absolutely love the design and this thing has a awesome wicked uh, blade design and geometry to it and you guys know me. I love my Tontos, and this recurve Tonto is just just blows my mind. I love it. And uh, added bonus is I've been carrying this knife, and uh, lately I've been trying to make it a point to like carry most of the knives I review now, just so I can give give a better accurate description of the of the knife when I do put it to the on the table for a review. And I have to say, it's a joy to carry in the pocket. It's a joy to use every day. It's very it has a very functional uh, blade geometry. So uh, now that I had a little bit of time of carrying it, I thought I'd bring it to the table and uh, you know do this review. The ergonomics of this knife is actually uh, very good and very well thought out and then, of course being a Canonian design it has kind of a more of a organic uh, shape to it as you can see here and when you're holding it in your hands it feels very nice. You got this uh, thumb wrap here and some jimping of course uh, on the back of the blade and this nice little uh, cut out for your uh, finger and of course the flipper doubles as a finger guard and the rest of your hands just kind of falls on there you know very very nicely and in the reverse grip it actually feels just as nice now my only thing about uh, the ergonomics is this part right here where both sides kind of swell up I don't really like that too much because when I'm gripping it really hard it just feels like these part these two parts are just kind of overshadowing the rest of the grip and my other fingers have nothing to grip onto but you know that's just my own personal opinion but other than that it's a great uh, great ergonomics for this knife on the presentation side, you'll find the grip tape inserts. Now this stuff is really nice. It actually uh, serves very well to hold your fingers and provides a high amount of traction. And on the reverse side, you'll find that it's actually completely smooth. The reason being is because if they did have the grip tape inserts, you'd never be able to clip this to your pocket or remove it for that matter. Now there's a normal looking clip uh, on this knife, which I'm very glad to see. I think all the zero tolerances have this uh, same style clip. Uh, none of that funky Kershaw clips that, that some of the other knives have. The cool thing about this clip is it's actually going to be transplanted onto certain Kershaw models. Uh, so, you know, you got the, like for example, I think the OD2 uses the same clip, so you can easily just switch this out. Now, this clip is reversible for tip up and tip down carry. And uh, I'm sorry, lefties, there's no options for you guys. Now this knife is put together by Torx Construction, and these screws are very easy to take out. They didn't strip when I take them, took them out. And in fact, I think I might include a couple photos of uh, the knife taken apart, but the only reason I took it apart was for cleaning lubrication, and also the main reason was to remove the torsion bar. On the rear of the handle, you'll find the uh, lanyard attachment point. As you can tell, the opening is large enough to accept 550 paracord along with the inner strands attached. And as I'm pulling the cord through, you can tell that there's no drag whatsoever. The blade is very awesome, and which is basically what attracted me to this knife in the first place. Got an awesome recurved Tonto, very aggressive looking. You know, the first time I saw this uh, blade, it kind of reminded me of my Benchmade Gaucho. And I'll put it right up here. You can see the very, uh, some, a lot of similarities between both these knives here. So on the back of the blade, you see a little bit of jimping there. Got your dual thumb studs. You got your ZT logo in, uh, embossed in gold. And on the back, you got some more stuff on here. You got the Kai Made in USA 0400. Uh, I guess a speed safe down here, S30V, Ken Onion Design, and of course your serial number. And I just happen to get number 3737. The deployment of the knife is very smooth, without even without the torsion bar installed. I can still flick the knife out uh, using the flipper, left or right. Uh, now without the torsion bar, I have the option of opening the, the blade really slowly without having to uh, you know raise any uh, concern, or I can easily just flick out the blade with the thumb stud. So in short, I really like this knife, and it has served me very well in the last few weeks of carrying it. It's wicked sharp. It's got the most awesome blade grind ever. I love this uh, recurve Tonto. And uh, in terms of size, it's very easy to carry. Uh, the funny thing is this knife has the exact same, or about the exact same uh, length overall as the 0301 and also the uh, 0560. But in terms of slimness, it's a relatively slimmer and a pretty much lighter package. So if you guys want that blade, uh, want that overall length without the extra bulk, then you know, 0400 is really your knife. You want something smaller, go get the 0350. But you know, either way, you can't lose with the ZT knife. Uh, you know, they're, they're top quality in my book. They're uh, made with high quality materials. They're, you know, great craftsmanship, fit and finish and everything. You know, I've actually never had a single ZT knife fail me in any area in terms of fit and finish or build or anything like that. So 
I highly recommend this knife. Uh, these are about 120 bucks. Go out and get yourselves one. Uh, I mean, it's not going to break the bank, but you know, it's not cheap either. So, but like I said, what you're beginning is a top quality knife. So, anyways, that's uh, that's all for me. I'm gonna stop rambling now. But I want to thank everybody for watching, and I want to say take care, have a great day, and I will uh, catch you guys on the next one.